Hello everybody, how y'all doing? Um, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm really excited about turkey season. April 19th is when it comes in, and I cannot wait to get out in the woods and get after some gobblers. But I wanted to just go over a few calls that I have laying here. You know, I don't use calls very much, but I'll show you why later on. I used that a lot whenever I was first getting into the turkey hunting. This is a striker. You know, slate striker, you know, put a little... I like using that on it with a sandpaper. Go over a little bit, you know. See what we can get out of it. The reason I don't like these calls, I can't find a spot that sounds good. I mean, it ain't very loud, but it might work. This was handmade and give to me. It's pretty nice. Take some sandpaper and go on it a minute. This one don't sound too bad at all. I mean, I like the sound of a lot of these calls, but I don't like using them a whole lot. And I got this. I don't really know exactly what you'd call it, but it's a little bit quieter. I don't use them calls because I learned how to call with my mouth. I mean, decent anyways, but I don't have nothing in my mouth, but check this out. <laughs> ever since I started doing that, I've done pretty good <clears throat> turkey hunting. I never called anything in with calls, but it works every time I use it. It's a, uh, New England 12 gauge, modified barrel, it's just a single shot, you know. But it's killed two turkeys so far. And look at that. My brother had that made for me. And my strap is on my gun upside down. Because when we drilled it, we put it a little, you know, quite a ways down there to keep from busting through it. And so I figured I'd just flip it upside down. And it works out. Here's my vest. I actually haven't used this vest yet. I just got it recently. I've used it squirrel hunting some. But it might work. You know. I don't shoot turkey loads out of that gun if I don't have them. But these right here seem to work pretty good. If you can get them in the range. And uh, here's the best part of all. I do have a decoy, but check this out. You take this, cause I didn't have a stand with this. I got the tape on there. The ground covers up the bottom and the decoy covers up the top. You shove it in the ground and you just stick that guy right on there. And if it's windy, you've had a bad day. But if it's not windy, it works. I've killed about four with it. But uh, yeah. Whenever I go in the woods turkey hunting, I don't take a call, but I take this guy. It's an owl call. Just to get something to gobble, you know. <laughs> we have that turkey call, and I can inhale and do it. And, like, the more air I get, the higher it gets. Like, you know, if I go real low, it's not very loud and high-pitched. But if I go real high, it gets real high pissed. I can't explain it. I can just show you. Check this out. This is low doing it. Then I can do it real high, and it gets louder and more aggressive. This really get a gobbler fired up.
Well, yeah, that's <clears throat> that's the best turkey call I've ever used. And I don't have a call in it. It's all for my natural voice. And uh, you guys stay safe and watch what you're doing. I hope you get something.